Hi, my name is Laura and I'm a private chef and today Katie has challenged me to create a dessert based off of one of her favorite celebrity looks. I don't know who Katie chose, but it's right here behind me, so let's find out. It's Billie Eilish! <laughs> yeah, I love her style. I feel like it's kind of like mine, but it's weird because I'm older <laughs> and she's cooler, so it's not fair. What really intrigues me about this look is the amount of lime green, the glitter, and how spooky and black it is. Ooh, the rules. So the rules are one, must be a cake, two, must include a chocolate technique, and three, must incorporate the Grammys. The dessert that I'm gonna have to make today is gonna have to be glam and glitter and just, it has to be dark and sexy. This is my first challenge at Tasty. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Let's do this. So the first thing we're gonna do is bake the cake. It's hot coffee and cocoa powder. One is black cocoa that you would use for Oreos. So we're gonna try to make this cake nice and dark. Coffee just enhances chocolate flavor and it just creates the deepness that you don't get when you just use water. We've got our flour, salt, baking soda, and baking powder. And then we're just gonna use a whisk to whisk it all together to get it all incorporated. We're gonna add our eggs to the sugar and whip them for about three minutes. We're looking for a light yellow. So we're gonna start with a third of our dries. Slap it. To make a cake spooky, I think we're gonna try to get it nice and dark and mysterious. I've just always liked like horror movies, anything, like anything Goosebumps. Definitely a hot topic goth in middle school to high school. So what I've learned in cake making is you always wanna finish when you're alternating wets and dries, you always wanna finish with the dry. You wanna finish your cake batters by hand. This is just what I was taught. You wanna let the machine help you, but the machine shouldn't finish the cake batter or else it'll be tough. Human touch. Now we have our finished plain batter. We're gonna divide it into two bowls and get the two colors working. But to give it a little bit more of the Billie Eilish vibe, we're gonna use some really dark black food coloring and get that in there. We're gonna use pandan extract. Pandan is like the Asian vanilla. Pandan is a green leaf that's extracted and has very vanilla and sweet notes and a very vibrant green color. This is feeling very Billie. So here's our dark batter. And then we're gonna do same amount of green and we're just gonna keep alternating that until all of the batter is done. So then we're just gonna take an offset spatula and gently run it through the batter, just trying to create some more interesting contrast between the two batters. It looks exactly how I want it to, so I'm pretty pleased. All right, I'm gonna go bake this for 25 minutes and I'll be right back. So next we're gonna make a cookies and cream mousse. First thing we're gonna do is take hot cream and pour it over the chocolate and let that hang out while we whip our cream. And then just whip it until you're at soft peak. So now I'm just gonna take the same beaters and I'm just gonna mix the warm chocolate and cream just to get them nice and incorporated. It's called a sacrifice and I think that kind of ties into how spooky this cake is gonna be, but we gotta sacrifice some of our cold cream to temper our warm chocolate ganache. And it's just gonna get it on a closer temperature so that it doesn't just seize up when you pour hot into cold. And then we're just gonna do a traditional folding technique from top to bottom. This is now a good time to add our Oreo crumbs. Billy has said that she wears baggy clothes to kind of keep her body hidden away from judgment and critique. So I think we just wanna hide an element to this cake so that when we cut in, we see inside and it's something interesting. So I'm using this cool silicone mold that's really popular on like Instagram videos, but it's got these weird bubbly spheres and it ties into that whole gooey, oozy, slimy look. We just want it to be nice and filled up. So just doing a little tap from the bottom. The tap a tap was a professional technique. And now we're gonna take this to the freezer. Now we're gonna make the mirror glaze that's gonna go on top of the mousse. And so we have gelatin, and we're gonna quickly add water and mix it really fast into a paste. We're gonna set this aside while we heat up our sugar water and condensed milk. Um, and I think it is the most impressive looking thing that I think we're gonna do for this cake. Once this gets to a boil, we're gonna add our gelatin and our vanilla extract. Mirror glazes are like the resin pours of the If You High section on Instagram. And now we're just gonna pour it over carefully. 
and then just let this sit for a few moments and then we're gonna blend it all together. All right, now we're ready for color. And we're gonna use the same pandan extract again, about a tablespoon. Time to buzz. <laughs> So this is done. And then we're just gonna strain it into a bowl. I'm gonna repeat this method again using dark chocolate and cocoa powder and then we're gonna get our black glaze. So I really love Billy's nails, especially in this look. I feel like her long glamorous nails are something that she's known for. So I really wanna incorporate that into the cake. And I've gotta do a chocolate technique anyway, so let's do it with this. So we've got some melted dark chocolate and I've got this cold sheet tray. And then we're just gonna pour it. I'm gonna try to spread it out as thin as possible. I'm gonna pop this in the freezer so that it sets up for the next layer. So next I'm gonna try to replicate that Gucci pattern with some white chocolate that we're gonna pipe and then cover in green glitter. So I'm just gonna do one direction. And I want to move really fast because this chocolate will set. And I think before then, I'm gonna just try to get this layer on. Ooh, we're getting messy. Make sure it's working. Ooh, it's working. I am feeling the pressure. Also, just because I can see the chocolate setting. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> trying to get the glitter on. I think I'm just gonna do a couple of dots because I want to. It's definitely always hard to know when to stop. Especially when it's fun. All right, so now I'm gonna lift this up and get all that extra glitter out of the way. Now that this is done, let's just break it up into shards. I definitely find a lot of fun in the like physical stuff. I'm not sure how I'll use it yet, but I like all the points and I feel like it's like jagged and edgy, kind of how Billy is. Okay, so we're gonna move on to our gold element next. So in order to incorporate the rule that I have to involve the Grammys, I'm gonna do chocolate covered strawberries, but we're gonna cover them in gold. Billy's got five Grammys, so I wanna make five gold strawberries to show that on the cake. So I've already taken some strawberries that I've cut and I'm just gonna stick it in the chocolate. I wanna cover it completely. And then we're gonna take one fancy big piece of gold leaf. Nailed it. It's like putting a blanket of gold on the little strawberry. This is how they apply gold leaf to old paintings and old instruments. All right, these look good. Let's move on to our next step. We're gonna move on to coloring our buttercream. And this is just a plain vanilla buttercream that we're gonna color green with more of the pandan extract. You're gonna start noticing it in a bunch of other things. <laughs> I can't wait to see pandan on the TikTok cooking videos. Having Billy behind me is really, uh, it's like having a spooky guardian in the sky. And I think she's really helping the vibe. All right, well, I think we got it to match the spatula pretty well. So now we're gonna cut the cakes to size. We've made this little template that's about the size of the mold. Oh, look, we got some green here. Very cool. Billy, if you're watching this right now, I hope you like what I'm making and I hope that you can come over and eat it one day and we could be friends. <laughs> so we're gonna use this template and put it here. Tiny bit of icing so it doesn't slide around. And flip. Whoa, see how black that is? Crazy. And we're gonna build a little two layer cake with this frosting in between. I think we really got the color of her hair in this cake somewhere. So now this is done and our next step is to assemble the cake and do the mirror glaze, which is kind of the, like, I'm holding my breath and I'm kind of running out of air because I'm a little nervous that I'm gonna mess this up, but we're gonna do it. Mirror glaze! We've done all of our components and now it's time for the mirror glaze and we only get one shot. I don't have an extra one. <laughs> I want Billy to tell me that I could do whatever I want and she'd love it. <laughs> All right, so let's do this and start from the middle. And I'm not gonna stop until I feel comfortable that every last inch was covered. And then we're just gonna do our green glaze. Ooh, look, we're getting the nice strips that we want. All right, so I'm happy with this. We're gonna move on to hopefully the easier one. Work on making sure that these sides are completely covered. So let's just add a little bit of extra green. Ooh, this is definitely a goosebump vibe right here. Wow, I love that. So now I'm gonna quickly use two spatulas to get this layer on top. And then we're gonna, whew. It's like stuck. 
So now we're just gonna use our chocolate and kind of build up our accents. This is like a spooky gingerbread house. And I'm gonna move around to placing the gold strawberries. So I'm kind of trying to emulate how she has all of the Grammys together. And she's actually got one that's like on its own. So let's do that here. Okay, we're done. I'm so excited to be done. That was really stressful and I'm so glad we made it. I love the cake and I can't wait to see what Katie thinks of this Billie Eilish cake. It's so good. It really like, it's, it's screaming Billie to me. Like I, and the gold leaf on, the, are these strawberries? I love this like ooey gooey, like this needs to be in one of her music videos. It's creepy, but it's glam. I cannot wait to see the inside of it. So Laura, I'm gonna let you come in and cut it cause I don't dare. Good job, Laura! Thank you. It's time to cut the cake. She slices pretty. Are we ready for the big reveal? Oh wow! It at a point felt like I wasn't doing enough for this cake to like do justice for how big her personality is, but I think looking at this, I'm pretty excited about the cake that we made together. All right, let's take a bite. Get every layer. Mmm! <laughs> it's really good. Gold doesn't give a flavor, but it gives a flavor. <laughs> I'm so glad Katie challenged me to do this cake. If you guys are interested in seeing any other celebrity looks turned into food, please let us know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. This bad guy is everything I wanted and definitely something I would eat when the party's over. <laughs>